The Mario Kart franchise has always been known to blur the line between skill and luck. Victory in most racing games comes down to skill and skill alone. But Nintendo took one look at Gran Turismo and said, that's boring. What if there were a million things flying around and you stood literally no chance? And now we have Mario Kart. Each installment has varying amounts of fairness, ranging from completely none to absolutely none. Okay, cool, how long was that? One second? I think I got one second. These games are brutal. You can't win without screwing somebody over. These games will have you betraying close friends and murdering infants. But Mario Kart does actually reward skilled players. It just so happens to also punish skilled players. Severely. Oh, you're doing pretty good. Just watch out for Donkey Kong's A10 Warthog power. But that's what makes this game so fun. The beautiful blend of randomness, track variety, and satisfying racing mechanics makes Mario Kart one of the most popular racing games out there. I mean, Mario Party is pretty much the least fair game that exists, yet if it was fair and balanced, it would just be a clock. But underneath all of Mario Kart's random elements lies a game that you can actually master. If you watch a good player, they aren't better because they're luckier. It's because they're smarter. They're smarter about how they race the track. Knowing which corners to drift around and which off-road areas to boost across. And they're smarter about how they use their items. Dodge this, idiot. Wow. When they get a mushroom boost, for example, they won't just use it on a straight section if there's a skip up ahead that requires a boost. And even when they get a bad item, they'll know how to use that item in the most resourceful way possible. Why throw out a green shell that might hit somebody when you can hold it behind you to avoid getting hit by an enemy shell? And the items you get aren't fully random. They depend on where you rank. A player in 12th is likely to get a bullet bill or a star, but the player in 1st will pretty much only get banana peels and green shells. This knowledge can be worked into your strategy, and you can have some level of control over which items you get. There are so many ways to avoid these unfair losses that they don't really seem that unfair. If you're a young child, you'll probably enjoy how much this game tries to make up for your lack of skill. If you fall back to 12th place, you'll get a bullet bill that flies you back to the other racers. But if you've got at least like 15 neurons, you'll probably just be annoyed by the people behind you suddenly being in front of you because they got a good item. Or all the times that you were in first place for the entire match, but just as you see the finish line on lap 3, Donkey Kong hits you with the intercontinental ballistic missile. Ladies and gentlemen, we got em. These are more like survival death matches than races. I'm not too concerned that I won't race the track well, I'm just concerned with the 11 psychopaths trying to incinerate me. And I don't even have to tell you about the blue shell. You guys chose the wrong track. Statistically speaking, 91.6% of people love the blue shell. It is technically survivable if you have a mushroom though. If you boost just as it dives down, you can escape the blast. And in Mario Kart 8, there's this little music box thing that you can use to destroy the shell. If you happen to have a star or boo ability, those work too. So even the infamous blue shell is completely survivable as long as you keep a mushroom boost on hand. When I first came to Mario Kart, it was the best thing ever. I could lose the entire time, and then, at last second, win for no reason. Back then, it was incredibly difficult just to not fall off the edge of the track or get stuck driving into a wall. Reaching the end of the track was an accomplishment, but as I got older, getting to the end of the track wasn't really a challenge. I started to focus on the other reasons that I wasn't winning. It's these stupid items. I can only get the bad ones and everybody else gets the good ones. That's when I realized that the very thing that once made Mario Kart the best thing ever, now made it the worst thing ever. I didn't play it for quite some time, but now that I've revisited it in recent years, I've made another discovery. It was never about the items. Everybody got the same stuff. It was all about how I was using them. If I got a star, I would just use it immediately. That way I had a slot open for the next item. But if I had tried to learn the map and mechanics a bit more, I would have saved it for some crazy skip that would have put me well into first place. That's when I realized Mario Kart actually is the best thing ever, and it always had been. What's disguised as a mindless party game that lets anybody win regardless of skill is actually a fiercely competitive challenge that has just enough randomness to make competition interesting to partake in and watch. 
It's a game that is immensely fun and engaging for all audiences, regardless of skill level. Mario Kart manages to constantly maintain a perfect level of difficulty, not because it adapts to the player, but because the gameplay has been geniusly designed in a way that the player can always learn more without being daunted by how much more there is to learn. The game always tempts you to just get a little bit better with each race, learn that track more, use your power-ups more resourcefully. There's not some sheet of combos to learn or a thousand different mechanics that you need to understand. It's so important that a game doesn't try and teach you everything there is to know before you can even nail the basics. If you can't drift a corner properly, you don't really need to know every way to survive a blue shell. That's why the game doesn't force you to learn that stuff. It's just a track and items to help you win. Go. The simplicity is so enticing, and it really makes you want to learn more. The accessible and non-intrusive approach to improvement makes Mario Kart a masterpiece franchise. Okay, no, screw this game.